Welcome YouTubers, this is Big Daddy D here from Razer Elite Gaming and today what we're going to go ahead and show you is a tutorial on how to connect your Xbox to your PC using the Xbox uh, Smart Glass app. Now you are going to need Windows 10 on this. You can do this on your laptop or PC. I'm doing it on my PC. So let's get started. So what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go to the Windows menu right over here where you will find the Xbox app already pre-installed into your PC with Windows 10. So you can see when you click it, I'm already logged in, but if you're a first timer, it is gonna ask you to log in to your Xbox account. It's just your, your information, like your email and your regular password they use to log into the Xbox. As soon as you are logged in, you will see everything displayed like the Xbox um, home dashboard. You see all your friends on your right, uh, you'll see the previous games you can see I uh, broadcasted Smite last night. So it's going to be displayed and somebody's played some other games. you also see uh, featured games just like the Xbox dashboard. So to, in order to connect your Xbox, what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go to the left hand corner. You're going to see this where it says connected. Now it already has mine displaying because I already have mine connected. But for the first timers, you're going to actually need to connect your Xbox to the PC. In order to do that, it's going to say right here, add device. I'm going to hit add device. As you can see, mine is already connected. Uh, it sh should search it automatically and it should pop up. But if, by any chance, if it does not, you just go ahead and go right here on the bottom. You just type in your IP address. You can find that in your Xbox settings. So since I have mine connected, I won't need to do that. So what are you going to go ahead and do after? Just go right over here where it hits stream. You might want to test out your uh, the streaming settings first. It takes a while, but it lets you know how everything runs depending on how if you're wireless or if you're wired. Um, so we're just going to hit it. Go and hit the stream. As you can see, it's connecting to the Big Daddy D15 Xbox. This is always going to appear. It's not an error message, so don't freak out. Um, it's just saying that there's no controller connected to the PC, which is perfectly fine. Um, this differs depends on where you have your Xbox. You may have your Xbox in the living room or somewhere else that you may need a wired controller because it may be too far for the Xbox to read the actual controller. Since I have my Xbox in front of me with my PC next to it, um, I can actually use my Xbox One controller. So you just hit continue. So you can see I was actually playing Call of Duty just to show you display. Everything actually works and works great. It's actually pretty smooth. Let me just show you. Um, you're running at 30 frames per second, depending on, again, if you're wireless or wired. I am wired, so I could get some pretty decent gameplay. I mean, the graphics are not the best compared to if you have an, um, an ADP TV or display or anything like that. Again, I am streaming, so... It's actually pretty fair. You can get a good game going on. Be chatted with your friends. I would get killed. <laughs> but yeah, uh, everything works for me. I have no complaints. This is perfect if you're using OBS, if you want to stream. Um, I know when you have your Twitch account, you can't get that many options on the Xbox Twitch app. But this will open up a lot more information and give you more options. Just to give an idea how that is now the only trouble i had in the beginning was actually chatting with my friends what i've noticed is if they send you an invite you actually accept it through the pc don't go ahead and accept it through the xbox because then you're errored out or you'll have the same trouble i had where they can hear i can hear them but they can't hear you other than that, it's pretty fairly simple. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them in the bottom. Make sure to follow or subscribe to my channel. Again, this is Big Daddy D.